What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I bring you the location of every one of Spider's wanted bounty enemies. But before we get into it guys, I have 5 Destiny 2 complete collection codes to give away. To be with a chance of winning one, simply drop a like on the video, make sure you are subbed to the channel and leave a comment down below. I will pick winners from the comment sections of my videos over this next coming week. So go ahead and spam those comments people. Now if that don't interest you as you already own a DLC, if you would like to show your support on the channel, leaving a like really does help me out and I do appreciate that support. Okay, so these can be a little bit of a pain in the ass to find, so I've put together this guide to showcase all of Forsaken's Week 1 Spider's Wanted Bounties. Expect this to be a weekly series if the bounties do change, which I believe they will. Okay, so we will start in the order he sells these bounties. Each individual wanted enemy will be timestamped within the video description and pinned at the top of the comment section if there is one specific one you need. And first up we have the Metal Captain. He can be found within the EDZ Drain Lost Sector. So here you want to load into the Winding Cove area within the EDZ and make your way to the outskirts area. And it's this last sector here you'll find the Metal Captain. So follow the route I take and take this dude out. The second wanted bounty is for Kirk, the all-seeing force. He is located within the pit lost sector on EDZ. So here you want to load into the Winding Cove area and travel left up the map to Firebase Hades area. And go into this lost sector here. Deep within this lost sector is your target. The third bounty this week is the Queen Breaker, again on the EDZ. This enemy is located within the Truss land area, normally spawning left or right of the church. So fly into the Truss land area and just patrol the area until this HVT spawns in. The fourth bounty target is Zerz, the unstoppable weight. He is located within the Pathfinder's crash loss sector within the EDZ. So land into the Winding Cove area and travel left up to the Firebase Heads area. And it's this last sector here you can find him located. The fifth bounty is for Dust Choked Frag. 
is located within excavation site 7 on the UDZ. So load into the Winding Cove area and head up to Firebase Heads and he will be found deep within this lost sector right here. The sixth bounty is for Mazen Lost Captain. He is located within the Widow's Walk Lost Sector on the EDZ. Here you need to spawn into the Trust Land area and head to this Lost Sector right here. The seven pointed bounty is located on Titan within the Methane Flush Lost Sector. Here you need to spawn into the Sirens Watch area, and it's a Lost Sector right near that landing zone you need to head to. The 8th wanted bounty is for Fortifier Yan, who is located within the quarry on the EDZ. So here you need to spawn into the Sunken Isles area and travel to this lost sector right here. Travel into this lost sector to find your target. Wanted bounty is for the subterranean mind. He is located within the Ferris Refuge Lost Sector on Mercury. So spawn in and head to this Lost Sector right here. I believe it's the only one on Mercury. When you actually get into this Lost Sector, he's right at the end. He normally spawns after you take out a few of the Vex enemies.
10 point fanti is for Patreon. He can be located within the ancient hunt on Nessus. So here you need to spawn into the Watcher's Grave area and travel around to the Tangle area and it's within this last sector right here. Deep within it you will find your target. The eleventh wanted bounty is for Ghoul Devotee, who is located within the Lost Oasis area on IO. He spawns in as an HVT, so head here and hang about until he spawns in. The twelfth wanted bounty is for the student of Baltric. He is located within the Exodus Black area on Nessus, so spawn into Exodus Black and hang about as he spawns in as a HVT, so keep an eye out for him. The 13th wanted bounty is for Splendid Mind. He is located within the Glade of Echoes area on Nessus. Here you will have to spawn into the Cistern Landing Zone and follow the waypoint right to the Glade of Echoes area. He will eventually spawn in as a HVT, so keep your eyes peeled. The 14th wanted bounty is for the Blood Cleaver. Once this bounty is picked up from Spider, an adventure will be added to your IO map within the Lost Oasis area. So grab a friend, or if you are a boss, try it solo. The boss is located within the final room, and he can be a bitch to take out. I believe you do have to take out all enemies on your way to him and the final room. He hides within an orb. You can play this correctly if you want. But what I did was sit on a rock, use my grenades, and pop in and out, shooting him for them split seconds. Once you are actually inside the orb, you can't shoot, but swords do work. If you die, or your fire team wipes, it doesn't matter, as his health doesn't reset. And guys, those are Spider's 14 Wanted Bounties, week 1 of the Forsaken DLC. If you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really does help me and my channel out and I do appreciate the support. Expect week 2 to be next Tuesday on Weekly Reset. And before we end the video guys, just a reminder, every month I give away a fully customizable controller. To be with a chance of winning it simply, make sure you are sub to the channel, drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details can be found via the Gleam link at the top of the video description. But thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.